Let me show you how I use these $1 bills to save for a $1,000 emergency fund. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I'm asking that you would please consider subscribing, clicking the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know if this video is helpful to you, if it's a great idea, or I just wanna know what do you think? I'm curious to know. And also, would you share this video because there may be someone that could use this content also. And click the bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. And I wanna say thank you for being here and welcome. And like I said, let me show you what, how you can save for a $1,000 emergency using these. Now, why do we wanna save for emergencies? Because we need to. They come, they can't be avoided, and we want to be prepared and we wanna have something to tap into in case they come. We don't wanna to have to rob Peter to pay Paul, in other words, living for uh, spending bill money. We don't want to have to live from paycheck to paycheck. We don't want to have to beg and borrow. And putting away for emergencies can keep us from doing these things. You know, we want to have our own money. And emergencies, they do come and they can't be avoided. So if we put away small amounts of money, which that's what this is, small amounts of money, Every time we get paid or every time we get money, it will add up. If we're patient, consistent, and disciplined, it will add up over time. And what we need to do also is live on less than what we make, watch our spending, stay out of consumer debt, stop using credit cards. Those things can help us. And what we're gonna be putting away, I mean, putting to the side, is 10 one dollar bills see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and if you do this four times a month like if there's four weeks of the month that's forty dollars a month okay if you look at it that way or if you do it if there's five weeks in a month that's five weeks that's fifty dollars a month so long as we do something and if you can't do 10, do five, do whatever you can, but do something. And this is a savings challenge, which I do every Monday, working with these $10 more bills. And we're going to add it to this bottle, which I call my money bottle. <laughs> okay. And you see, I've been adding ones in here every week. When I started this, this was empty. Now look at it, okay? So let's go ahead and add these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let me go ahead and where's my go? And what I also do, uh, I record this in my planner. And by the way, if you don't know, this bottle came from Walmart. It was like $13, $14. It was filled with water. I bought the bottle the water out 
and then use it for this, okay? Just to let you know if you wanna know what you can get one. So today is Monday, um, April 6th. And I call this my money bottle savings challenge, okay? And I added $10. Now let me see how much it was last Monday, uh, which was April 29th. And the total amount in there was $130. So now it is $140. Wow, almost $150 in. And I started this the beginning of January 2024. Okay? So. I've been putting in $10 every week, so that means $40 a month, okay? And that's what this has added up to. That's, that's what's in here. And the goal is to get $1,000 in here. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm just taking my time. And this is one of the savings challenges that I do out of seven. I do one every day of the week. And this one is done on every Monday. So this is a savings challenge. So join me in this savings challenge. $10 is not that much money. And if you can't do $10 every week, do something, okay? You may get paid every two weeks or you may, you know, uh, that's $20 if you do it every two weeks. That's still $40 a month, okay? It's all in the way you look at things. It's all in the way you see things. You can do things a whole lot of different ways and still have the same outcome. What was that was saying? It's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> you don't hear that stuff no more. Okay, so, so, this is our Money Bottle Savings Challenge and drop me a comment and let me know if you're doing this savings challenge and let me know if this video is helpful and if these savings challenges are helpful. My goal is to get the message out there about saving for emergencies because, you know, there's a lot of people that are not saving. That's why I ask you all to share this video because there are some people that are not saving and can use this content. I am coming across people all the time that are not saving. All the time. So that's what we want to do. We want to save. We want to stay out of consumer debt. We want to live on less than what we make. And we want to be patient, consistent, and disciplined. And we can save our $1,000 for our adversity. Now we know once we get that, we don't stop there. We keep adding until we get to three to six months of our expenses in case there's a job loss, a home repair, car repair. We want to have money to be able to take care of those things. Because a lot of times our income is not enough, okay? All right, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and click the bell. And I'll catch you in the next video. And 